So, uh, well, one, uh, Greg has done a phenomenal leadership um, and, and really spearheading this IRF roundtable. We worked uh, over the years, and so thank you very much for your long dedication to advancing uh, international industry. I also want to use the opportunity to thank Ambassador Sam Brownback, Brownback and Katrina Lentos uh, Sweat for their outstanding efforts to make this first IRF summit a huge success. Um, I listened carefully to the Greek Archbishop this morning, especially regarding the Turkish president's decision to convert the Hagia Sophia into a functioning mosque, and could not, could not agree more that this was a profound disappointment. We at the United Macedonian Diaspora denounced this move. The Hagia Sophia is a symbol and an icon for Orthodox Christians around the world, and was built in the 6th century AD by Justinian the Great, uh, who was born near the current capital of Macedonia, Skopje. The Gospel according to Matthew chapter 7, verse 1-8, the Lord said, Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? While bilateral relations between Greece and Turkey are at an all-time low, Greece needs to look at the situation in its own borders and stop furthering religious nationalism and only favoring one religion over others. In Greece, the Greek Orthodox Church has actively blocked the registration of the Macedonian Orthodox Church. Macedonians in Greece cannot be baptized using their Macedonian names. Our religious leader, Archimandrit Bikadintarkas, who Greg and others from the roundtable have met with over the years, has been jailed, beaten, and ridiculed on public TV, all because he wants to ensure the indigenous Macedonian minority in Greece have equal protection under Greek laws and full religious freedom and human rights. The U.S. government and we as a roundtable must ensure that all of these countries, including Greece, are meeting their own obligations as NATO member states, and that means religious freedom for Macedonians, Turkish, Roma, and other groups. A full report can be found in the IRF roundtable booth. Last but not least, I want to also draw your attention to rising anti-Semitism in Southeast Europe, um, and I think this roundtable can really uh, help out uh, on this because Holocaust denial and historical religion, revisionism are serious concerns. And so the IRF uh, Roundtable is a perfect initiative to be able to bring awareness. We at the United Macedonian Diaspora pledge to continue being a strong supporter and working with all of you members to push for religious freedom globally, and including in democratic or so-called democratic states and members of NATO and the European Union. America's allies must adhere to human rights and religious freedom values. So thank you very much, and thank you, Greg, thank you, Paul, and others.